doesn't intimidate your opponent can really give you that extra bit that you need. So they start off intense stare down to start with. Nice jump. Good movement from Corey. Really nice movement from Corey. Early on, a second phase attack through a hook, stepped off through the right hand. Lovely shots. And as we saw with the pre-fight media, that he is ready and, he, and he's willing to go for it. Yeah, he says that he's relentless and powerful is his uh, is his strengths. Corey's only 20, so this is like quite a youthful fight, isn't it? Yeah, he's got really nice, really nice hands. Good jab. His uppercut was really nice off his lead hand. He's got that little bit of that lean back saw where he can miss a shot. What I want to see, though, is better footwork. He's chasing your opponent and ruining your shots. It looks like he's catching him. He's here. He's, he needs to step back off now. Use his footwork. Stop chasing. Step off. Oh, and he caught him again. There we go, now set, settle down a little bit. There we go, step off. He's so composed. Yeah, um, he's composed, but he's he's limiting his shot range here because he's going forward, going forward, keep throwing shots. I want to see him land one, step off, take a look, and then come back in again. I think if, if, uh, if he doesn't finish this fight, going at this pace, he's going to struggle in later rounds. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, you get the fact that he says he's powerful and relentless, it does lend itself to someone who assumes they finish fights, which makes you think that going the distance and assuming you're not going to distance can play a part when you get dragged into the later rounds. Yeah. I'm starting to see a little bit of um, a little bit of gas coming out from Corey now. He's sort of starting to slow down a little bit. Yeah, and I tell you what, we did miss there. Um, we missed the fact that Ryan landed a lovely right hand just a minute ago. Yeah. End of the first round. I think by pure aggression, I, I feel like Corey's probably got this one. Oh, that was Corey. First that was Corey's round, round definitely. Actually, um, Ryan landed some decent shots. There. He landed a really nice right hand. I think what it was is that. Uh, that's not a representation there of Ryan's boxing. Um, it was a representation of the fact that Corey was so aggressive that Ryan had to just take as much as he could, cover up, and pick off when he can. If he can then now to start to find a pace in this round, then we could see the tables turn, maybe. And it would have been a long two minutes of Ryan, wouldn't it? If you look up in, in Ryan's corner there, his coach is shouting at him to get himself up for yeah. this next round. Yeah. Both of his coaches are getting him fired up. And I think they could be right to because if Corey gasses out, this is for this is for Ryan to take. Yeah, and maybe you know if they've watched Corey, that may have been the game plan. Let him punch himself out on you. You know he hits hard. Yeah, Cover man. up. Let him wear himself out. You know you, you know you're in a fight, so don't come in here expecting not to get hit. Let's wear him out and take him into the second. But to be fair, Corey doesn't look that tired right now. He looks like he's recovered really well. Yeah, I, I want to see better movement from Corey this round because his hands are really nice yeah and I feel like his aggression is wasting a bit of energy for himself so maybe just slow down a little bit and let his box there we go that's nice Jerry yeah, stayed off stay back off that's lovely just sitting nice back jab. off his opponent and Ryan's getting the odd one in but Corey is just getting the better of him he caught clipped him right on the jaw then See? He's settled in a little bit more now. Corey has settled down a little bit more, yeah. and the opening's been really nice. He's landed shots, but held back before he steps forward. For everyone at home, Corey told us uh, before the fight that he'd think this would either be a knockout or a stoppage. Yeah. And I think uh, Ryan's looking more for the points. Lovely then. right hand by Ryan. But that sort of shows in their styles, you know, Ryan is, is sort of a bit more conservative where well, Corey is going for it. Well, that's emphasising the fact that when he was asked how he thought the fight was going to go, Ryan said a win by points. Yeah. Um, we've got one guy, Corey, who's saying he's going to stop it and another guy who's saying he's going to win by points, which makes me think that first round was all about tiring Corey out. Yeah, that's, that's true, um, but Corey might have the cardio to do it. Yeah, especially if he's oh. trying to... Almost a Superman punch yeah. out so far away. Big leaping left hook. And I think if they if it becomes a brawl, I think Corey's got it. Yeah, that's the last thing. Uh, to be fair though, I don't know. Corey's style doesn't suit a brawl. He's yeah. really got some really nice shots. He's got a great second phase attack. A little bit more footwork. He's a really awkward uh, boxer, you know. He's slipping the odd punch. He's just staying out of range of the odd punch of uh, Ryan. Yeah, exactly. 
down to the body from that position. Oh, and he caught nice. him. Corey took a bit of a shot then. On the top of the head as well. Lovely. He's not bothered, he's calling him in. He's got him fired up, that has. Corey is fired up now. Step off. See how he's stood in there and that step off. Get your opponent to open up and give you a slot to hit. Yeah. Standing inside, throwing shots at gloves is, is doing nothing. Land a couple, step off, let your opponent open up and punch one through the gap, you know? And I think in a way Ryan's probably quite lucky that he's doing that, I think. Yeah. He's giving Ryan a chance. Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, that, that style that's finished people and has worked for him through pressure. Now he needs to add, add a little something to that arsenal and uh, complete his, complete himself, you know, and just step off, give him that second phase attack. There's quite a lot of water in the corner there. I think the ref's just looking for a towel to mop that up. I don't think the ref's too happy about that, is he? He doesn't look very happy, no. <laughs> it can be, I tell you what, it's uh, often a ploy. Um, you get a little spillage of water, it gives people a little bit more time. But to be honest, you'd expect that from Corey's corner. I don't think that that's what's happened here. I think it's just emotions in the fact that Ryan's corner are really fired up and saying, come on, let's get in there now. Let's really go to work in this round. I really hope Ryan can uh, do something with his round this time. I, I feel like he's almost there. He's just being stifled a little bit by Corey's aggression and his his volume. I'll tell you what, though. Again, look at Corey. He seems to have recovered really well. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Will Corey want to finish it this round or just go oh. for points? Um, I think Corey's the sort of guy who's always wanting to finish yeah, the fight. No, I, I don't think Corey's going to be looking for any points if he can avoid it. He doesn't care about that, I don't think. And he's just that little bit out of range, just a fraction out of range. A lot of the straight punches that Ryan's throwing aren't landing. A lovely right hand. Good one then, though. I feel like Corey's maybe counter-punching a little bit when he is throwing. Good shot by both fighters. Corey's right eye um, shows you the fact that yeah. you know uh, Reese can Reese can bang uh, Ryan sorry can bang he can throw a he can throw a shot because Corey's got a, a nasty mouse developing underneath that left eye. Yeah. And you touched on it before the fight, Wes. You know he Ryan's from Swansea. He's wearing Swansea shorts. It sounds like he sold a lot of tickets. That's going to give him that extra ten percent, isn't it? Yeah, I can't see him giving up or wanting to give up in this fight at all. I think it's just frustrating that um, the fact that he's fighting Corey, who's an aggressive guy, but also a very good boxer. Yeah, and he's, so, he's always on the back foot. Yeah, exactly. And if you're if you're a guy who like Ryan, if you're a guy who's used to being the aggressor and used to being the banger, and then you fight a guy with a similar style and you have to change completely, yeah. it can throw you off, you know. I think this is a fight which would have benefited from maybe five or six rounds. Yeah. Uh, Corey's blinking a little bit with that eye. I think it is bothering him. Big swing and a miss. And another one. But Corey's not missing. Getting towards the end now. The crowd have gone wild for Corey. Yeah, I mean that was uh, the end of a really good fight. Like I say, I'd like seeing two or three more rounds yeah. because neither guy looks like they're finished. Oh. Neither guy looks like they're being saved by the fact the bell came. And I think uh, as the fight went on, we saw Ryan getting better and better through the fight. Yeah. So I think Corey takes it, but yeah, good fight. And he didn't look out of it. Ryan didn't look out of it. I think it was, you know, uh, a couple more rounds would have given him a chance to get a second win and exactly. see if that helped him. You know? Exactly. You're completely right, though. That could have done with another two or three rounds. Would have been nice. But I think you've got to give all credit to Corey because he, the boxer who he was in the first round was not the boxer he was in the final round. Yeah. He'd stop that aggressive, I'm going to try and finish you, relentless attack. And he started to box a little bit better and look for his second phase attacks and sit off of punches, which is what he needed to do in the first round, I feel. And I think if he would have done that from the beginning, maybe he'd have stopped him earlier on. Yeah, and I, also credit to Ryan for sort of keeping it, keeping it going, you know. He had a bad first round and, and he kept it going and he tried his best. To, to, to Big cheer from the crowd, Corey again. Once again, the, the Budo judges showing, you know, they're impartial, a great decision, and went exactly as we've seen it. Really good decision.